what's going on everyone welcome back yesterday was the absolute amazing day when it comes to mlb playoff baseball and it did not disappoint the two championship series had some intense games with game five of the alcs and game four of the nlcs i'm going to jump into them and go over them it's probably the best postseason day so far this season so far this postseason whatever um started the, the day got kicked off with the astros five texas rangers four and guys i really thought that texas was going to take a lead in this game i think most people probably did that they would take the lead in the series but uh, the astros pulled it out in the end this one got kicked off at the beginning here with uh bregman he got the it, the first inning kicked off he's been a little cold this postseason so far not been a big impact player but he got the astros out to a quick one nothing lead and then from there is a verlander montgomery duel until the fifth inning the rangers finally did get on the board with nate low he uh, hit a jack uh, so it was one one going into the sixth inning in that sixth inning guys things started to uh, get this is where the heat started to go the astros took a 2-1 lead at the top of the sixth before we see garcia in the bottom of the sixth hit a three run bomb and he takes his sweet sweet time rounding the bases uh stomps on home plate when he crosses and at the time it was significant and that the rangers they took a four to two lead but also the fact the next time he was up to bat he would be plunked right there on the shoulder um he would turn around to malinato and start chirping the benches would clear the bullpen would clear it was about a 12 13 minute delay in the game and uh, we saw some ejections in that one. Abreu got ejected. He got ejected. I think Baker got ejected as well. Um, but at that time, the Rangers were up 4-2. to two, And you thought, all right, we're going to get it done. But the Astros have never said die. And the team on the road has won every single game so far this season. Or this series. Um, and uh, Altuve again. Um, I didn't hear any trash cans. I didn't hear any of that. Uh, he hits a three-run bomb to take the Astros on top, five to four. And we know what happens when the Astros go into the ninth with a lead and Presley comes onto the mound, guys. He closes the door. He picks up his a win. Um, he's already He was already out there for the eighth inning as well. So he closed. He shut out the Rangers, those two innings, those two key innings, gave the Astros a chance to get it back in this one. Uh, the big question mark has always been in this postseason, is the Rangers bullpen going to be able to close the door? And LeClerc has been getting it done for the most part, um, but this is a big struggle here. He did go in there for 1.1. They brought him in in the 8th to close it because Chapman just could go two outs. They they gave him two outs, he got a hit, and then they bring in LeClerc to get that last one. Maybe that extra out hurts, I don't know. But LeClerc, he's never been the type of guy that's going to be a closer long term. And he blows this one here. His first blown save of the postseason. So far, he's been good. Uh, but it might be a little bit of a dangerous situation now. Uh, that Rangers now have lost the past three. However, they are traveling back to Houston. They have won both games in Houston so far in this postseason. So... The road team has won every single game in the series. If that continues, we will see the Rangers winning this series. So let's keep your eyes open. How, how's it going to go? Let me know. I know people have said Astros in six, and that was when they were down 2 nothing. So, so far, it's coming true, possibly. Other game yesterday, of course, Phillies and D-backs playing game four. And this is the opposite. Every game has been won by the home team in this one. So these two series are being opposite. If that holds true, they do play game five today. The D-backs will win if that holds true. However, we're going to see, I believe it's going to be Wheeler versus Gallon. Another battle. These two guys met earlier in game one, of course, and the Phillies walked away with that one. A couple of runs win. But this game, another late inning kind of comeback for the D-backs. Uh, they did get out to an early lead. They, the D-backs went a little bit off, off uh, kilter here, I guess. They had eight different pitchers in this game. They did a full bullpen game. And it seemed to work out for them. They got a couple of runs early in this one to take a 2-0 lead. However, the Phillies, their offense finally woke up a little bit in that fourth inning. to get one, followed by another one in the fifth, and two in the sixth. Got started when Kyle Schwarber hit his fourth home run of the postseason in that fourth inning. And then in the sixth, we had those couple of runs. The rest of the runs have just been manufactured pretty much. And then... We really get to the situation here where it's the eighth inning. Um, 
and the Phillies are up five to three and you think okay Kimbrell he's been a little shaky the game before he blew that ninth inning game and then we see him come in here again and he gets into a little bit of trouble Thomas hits a two-run bomb and this is where the at the Diamondbacks do take a lead here and they don't look back Seawald comes in for another close he's been lights out this postseason for them big pickup at the trade deadline from the Seattle Mariners he's up to five saves in this postseason he does strike out the side in that ninth inning and we got to remember Kyle Schwarber did hit a double he they were in potential to tie this up they just could not get it done so we are gonna stay in Arizona for game five and uh yeah it's a three game series between these two teams these championship series they started off looking like they were gonna be two blowouts Phillies were dominating Texas was dominating and both the teams have evened it up and in the other case Houston took the lead let me know what you guys think. These postseason games have been exciting baseball. We're going to only have one today, and we're going to see game six of Texas and Houston on Sunday. But, guys, it's been great. This postseason starting to wind down. We're soon going to have a World Series on our hands. And don't forget, um, NFL is tomorrow. I started doing power rankings, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. And we'll see you guys out there for that next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.